What everyone wants to know is, what powers Baruto awakened after his training with Sasuke Uchiha? Especially since he trained with Sasuke for three years. What Jogen powers can Baruto use? Has he mastered Momoshiki's Rinnegan? And does he have a chakra transformation, like Tenseigen or Sage Mode? The answers to all these questions are in this video. I will discuss all the powers Baruto awakened during his training with Sasuke. Just how powerful is Baruto in Baruto 2 Blue Vortex? I can already tell you that his power surpasses the limits we know, potentially making him the strongest character currently. Baruto's Training Baruto is officially a rogue ninja within the story. After Ada altered reality and fulfilled Kawaki's wishes, the world completely changed. Now in everyone's eyes, Baruto is an enemy of Konoha, who killed the seventh Hokage, while being seen as a traitor to Konoha. Sasuke only agreed to flee with Baruto because of Sarada, who awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan. But now, Baruto had the privilege of being trained by Sasuke. During this training, Sasuke must have taught him to control the karma transformation, and most importantly, Momoshiki's presence in Baruto's mind. Among the skills, Baruto must have learned new elemental techniques as well as improved taijutsu and dojutsu. In the first chapter of Baruto 2 Blue Vortex, we find out that Code has been after Baruto for the last two years, so it's very likely that they had a fight during this period. Evidence of this is the scar on Code's eye. Karma Transformation The first skill Baruto should learn is mastery over the karma transformation. Unfortunately, Baruto still doesn't master this transformation, unlike Kawaki, his main enemy, who can freely use the karma transformation. During training with Sasuke, Baruto learned to control the Momoshiki inside his mind, trying to take over his body, something he has done a few times. The main reason Baruto doesn't want to use the karma transformation is that Momoshiki might emerge to hurt his friends. But after Baruto controls Momoshiki, he won't have this concern anymore. After that, Baruto will be able to freely use the karma transformation and will manifest two horns. With this transformation, all of Baruto's physical attributes will greatly increase, including his taijutsu and the destructive power of his techniques. Baruto will also gain access to Momoshiki's dojutsu, as he is 100% Otsutsuki. Byakugan After fully mastering the karma transformation, Baruto will be able to use both of Momoshiki's Byakugan with ease. We've already seen Baruto use Momoshiki's Byakugan during Code's invasion, but in Baruto 2 Blue Vortex, this technique will be at its maximum potential. With access to the Byakugan, Baruto will be able to use the Byakugan's 360 degree vision to enhance his taijutsu, as well as visualize the chakra network of his adversaries and potentially the secret abilities of the Hyuga clan. But the power of Momoshiki's Byakugan doesn't stop there as the Byakugan that Baruto will use has a special power. He can literally see small parts of people's futures. Momoshiki used this ability to see Baruto's future, something Baruto himself briefly accessed in the manga. Using this special power, Baruto could see his adversary's futures to anticipate attacks and moves. Jogen It's high time for Kishimoto to mention the Jogen in the Baruto manga. This dojutsu has so far only appeared in the anime and hasn't even received a brief mention in the manga. It's not possible that Kishimoto will simply forget the Jogen, right? In the anime, even the Otsutsuki god had appeared using a dojutsu very similar to the Jogen. Moreover, several Otsutsuki have recognized the Jogen as an Otsutsuki power. Urashiki described this dojutsu as a complex power, while Momoshiki stated that Baruto inherited power from the Otsutsuki clan at birth. During his training with Sasuke, Baruto must have learned to use his dojutsu. Sasuke is currently the most experienced dojutsu user, having used the Sharingan, Mangekyo Sharingan, and the Rinnegan. He will certainly teach Baruto how to use the Jogen. We still don't know the true abilities of the Jogen, but it possibly can open portals and travel between universes, something Baruto might have used to arrive in Konoha. Kenjutsu One detail in Baruto's appearance that certainly caught everyone's attention was the sword he seen wielding, a sword that closely resembles the one used by Sasuke Uchiha. The use of swords has been Sasuke's trademark ever since he lost his arm in the final battle against Naruto, so this skill was passed on to his student. 
In the first chapter of Baruto 2 Blue Vortex, Baruto appeared in Konoha holding his sword in the same manner Sasuke always does, indicating that he can now wield swords proficiently. He might also have the ability to combine ninjutsu with his swordplay, just like Sasuke. It is worth noting that Kawaki can use chakra receivers as a staff, like Ashiki did, so for Baruto to have sword skills is crucial to face off against Kawaki. In the second chapter, we saw Baruto using the sword and he's very skilled with it. Elemental Techniques As a ninja, Baruto masters three nature elements, water, wind, and lightning. Sasuke, on the other hand, masters all five elements, so at some point, he must have taught Baruto some elemental techniques. Considering the lightning element, a possible technique Baruto might now possess is the powerful Kirin, a jutsu created by Sasuke himself that manipulates real lightning to manifest a dragon with a simply devastating attack. This technique would be perfect for Baruto because it can't be absorbed by Kawaki's karma, given that Kira, therefore this power can defeat Kawaki or severely injure him as Kirin moves at the speed of sound. Taijutsu Speaking of Otsutsuki level characters, having good Taijutsu is essential for victory. Otherwise, defeat is certain. During training with Sasuke, Baruto will greatly improve his Taijutsu, especially since Sasuke has always been known for his cool fighting style, even without one arm. Moreover, Baruto has another advantage, which is Momoshiki's karma, allowing Baruto to use all of Momoshiki's combat experience, which also includes the fighting style of the Taisegen that Momoshiki masters. We saw in the first chapter that Baruto stylishly stepped on Code's face, so he might use Sasuke's signature kicks at some point. With all of Momoshiki's combat experience, combined with Sasuke's training, we can be sure that Baruto is now very strong. Rinnegan That's right, Baruto can also use Momoshiki's Rinnegan. This is possible thanks to the karma that transferred all of Otsutsuki's data to Baruto, meaning he can manifest Momoshiki's Rinnegan in his hands at any time, just as Kawaki does to manifest Ishiki's Dojutsu. Luckily for Baruto, he was trained by an experienced Rinnegan user, Sasuke. During the three years of training, Baruto had ample time to master the abilities of the Rinnegan, which include Momoshiki's special Rinnegan power to absorb ninjutsu and release it with much greater force, as well as the six paths of the Rinnegan. Sasuke might have taught Baruto to use the Chibaku Tensei, a technique that could become even stronger thanks to karma. The ability to attract objects or people is also part of the Rinnegan's power, along with the capacity to create new abilities. Chakra Mode The theory that Baruto will manifest a chakra cloak has been gaining traction, especially since the series creator Masashi Kishimoto created a drawing in Volume 1 revealing the powers of Team 7. Sarada is shown with her Mangekyo Sharingan, Mitsuki with his Sage Mode, and Baruto with the Chakra Cloak. We still don't know how Baruto will manifest this Chakra Cloak, similar to Naruto's old Kurama Mode, but one possibility is that Baruto will awaken this transformation after mastering his Jogen. This isn't impossible since Tonari manifested a Chakra Cloak upon awakening the Tensegen, so Baruto's Jogen might indeed have the same ability. This theory gains strength because the Kurama Mode isn't powerful enough to face villains like Code and Kawaki. Moreover, Kishimoto has never permanently brought back characters to life, or characters with significant deaths. This new phase of Baruto promises to be hair-raising, things are getting insane, and you don't want to miss out on anything, so subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Here on the channel, we're bringing the best content about Baruto 2 Blue Vortex. In fact, two videos are currently being displayed on the screen that I'm sure you'll enjoy, so click on both of them.